to say, of all the smiles, you have the best on this red carpet. Congratulations. How does it feel being a nominee? Oh my goodness, it is it's amazing. God is so good. God is really good. Now we gotta always make this official. What are you nominated for? I'm nominated for Gospel Album of the Year. Christian Contemporary Album of the Year. And what's the album? Alive. You know, one of the things I've always said back in the day when it came to the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, the best artists always came from gospel. What do you think it is about gospel that put artists like yourselves on a different level? Well, because God is there. <laughs> it's just that uh, we, it, you know, it's it's amazing. It's just God is there. That's that's a big thing. When did you start getting involved with gospel music? I've always been singing from a very young age, but when I came to Canada, I don't know how many years ago, like at least 10, 15 years ago, I started singing, and I finally uh, started to record like 2020. And did you ever think that at some point in time you would be a Juno nominee? Oh my goodness. I don't know. It's just, this is amazing. Yes, I'm grateful. I, I didn't know it was coming this fast, but I thank God. It's okay, now you know how it is. We got to head to Halifax. Are you ready for this trip? Yes, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I'm so excited. Yes. Well, I wish you all the luck in the world. Congratulations. We'll see you in Halifax. Thank you so much. Thank this you. My very friend, much. look, you know, it's funny. I saw you earlier and you were cruising around taking pictures and stuff. And I'm going, boom, I wonder who this is. And then, of course, I see your face up there as an Omni. Congratulations, man. Uh, thank you so much. I am very happy to be here. I, I am just fresh from, from, the, from LA. I just came yesterday from, from LA, uh, from the Grammys, and now here this morning, I'm so, so great. That's what they do to you. They, they never tell you until you have to see it here. What are you nominated for? Let's just double check. I am nominated for the Jazz Album of the Year group. That is an amazing accomplishment. When you think about the Juno Awards and what you do, it's a great way to represent, to me, it's a great way to represent not just Canada, but worldwide music. How does it feel being in that position? It's, this is so great for me, like, really to get, uh, to get this nomination and all, all this award I had during all this year here in, in Canada. This is, this is so great. Uh, I consider Canada my, my second second line. You know, I, I am so, so proud, so happy. Now you gotta be getting yourself ready though because uh, we are talking to Halifax and as we speak, they got a ton of snow. So <laughs> what are your thoughts now, man, and get yourself ready for the big night? Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Look, congratulations, all the best, and we'll see you in Halifax. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, second, you are stunning. Third, congratulations again. How does it feel being a nominee on this red card? It feels amazing. I love it. I'm so excited. So happy. Yeah. Let's make it official. What are you nominated for? For the Dance Underground of the Year. What's the music? What's the single? What's the song that you're nominated for? Uh, it's called Man Mess. It's an electronic sound. I don't know. I, mean, like, I bring everything from, like, I'm African. But my dad's from the Congo. And so I mix that with, like, electronic music, with, like, my roots and all that. And then it gives this song. Are we talking Af uh, Af uh, African beats, uh, Afro beats? Are we talking about that? It's not, it's, it's like it's there, but it's a bit more into the like Afro house, like more electronic sound, more like a higher BPM, like more what like, got, like, yeah, 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 you yeah. know? What got you interested in that? What, what? What got you interested in that sound? Um, you know, I'm just like, I, I feel like I just wanted to like go deeper into the African sound. I feel like it's very like Afro beats. I'm a piano, which I love. I'm a huge fan, but I got dig deeper in and I found like artists like Black Coffee and like Shimza and like people from South Africa that make like more electronic sound and then I just got into it. Yeah. You no, know, a year ago I was in South Africa for a week and learning okay. about the music and everything. And how does it feel when you see now that um, that part of the world is now getting literally center stage when it comes to music and respect in music? And so many artists, no matter what genre they're in, that's what they want to jump on. I think that's amazing. I think it's about time. I think that African artists are super talented and amazing. I just, I'm just right there with them. Like I celebrate them, and then I, I'm really proud to be African. So I think it's a great time for music, and especially for African music. Yeah. No, Africans aren't used to snow, and we're headed to Halifax. So are you ready to get down there for the snow and the cold? Oh, well, I grew up in Montreal, Canada. So like, oh, yeah. no, please. <laughs>
Then that's the same thing for you. It's fine. I'm used to it. That will be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. Congratulations. We'll see you now. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.